I am I'm so thrilled that you're in our spectacular city, and I'm so thankful to all of you uh, for choosing to come to the city of New Orleans. Uh, I'm thrilled to be able just to, to say a few words to you about Pastor Fred, uh, as we know him. I'm so sorry that I could not be here with you yesterday, but I understand uh, as Pastor Crosby, it was a hallelujah moment. Amen. And so I just would start off with a couple of comments that um, out of darkness comes light and out of despair comes hope. And as I stand here in front of you, I have two guys behind me, Pastor Crosby and Pastor Luke. And they exemplify the most amazing word of God that came out of Katrina and Rita. So you know the story about how uh, the great flood came because the walls broke down uh, and we were underwater for a long period of time. Uh, Katrina and Rita did not cause the city of New Orleans this problem. So it just made that more manifest. Whatever we had, if it was beautiful, it became more glorious. If it was dark, it became much deeper. But out of that darkness came an incredible light. Walls came down. People that otherwise didn't speak to each other before were forced by circumstance, to get together. You've never seen anybody not worry about what color somebody is if there's only one boat and the water's getting high. <laughs> it's an amazing thing. It really is. This is not a theological discussion. This is a very practical discussion about can I get in that boat with you? <laughs> and that old saying that a rising tide lifts all boat. Let me tell you something. It is absolutely true. And so after Katrina, one of the amazing things that we saw when we were rescuing people is that young African-American girls who had been lost being walked down the street by all the white ladies who never knew who they were, or three young African-American boys strolling down the street, an old white man on a cafeteria cart because they were helping each other get out of each other's way. It was a beautiful, bright moment in darkness. And David Crosby is an example of that because when Pastor Fred's church, Franklin Avenue Baptist, was under the water, Pastor David said, why don't you come on over by me and be my friend? Now, they are friends and they are friends. I mean, some of us have friends, but we don't invite them to live with us all the time. That gets old after a while. But Pastor David said, come on over. And Pastor Fred came. And out of that came a beautiful story of friendship. And so now we jump forward. And you make the historic choice to have the first African-American president of this venerable organization. Uh, knowing where you started and now knowing where you want to go. Now, before I came here today, by the way, I thought that y'all actually made history, but y'all got Trump. The historically black college and university, Alcorn State University, hired a white football coach last week. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Change is going to come, and it's on its way. And you could not have made a better choice because this is a, a man, a young man who is ordained to be here at this time. And you could not have picked a better person to represent your values or the values of America than Fred Luter. Uh, having come from the Ninth Ward, having risen up through hard knocks, starting his preaching on the street where everybody could say no, he could be rejected, and he could keep going, and he continued to see light because he knew there was hope and he knew there was love. And I can't uh, tell you how incredible it is that you have been open to the possibility of being led by this man and my my deepest and most sincerest prayer for you is that together you will answer God's call to go where he takes you. And I have no doubt that this uh, year, under his leadership, uh, you will continue to do the great things that you have always done. So if I might uh, present to Pastor Luda uh, a very special proclamation from the city, uh, because the uh, people of New Orleans are so incredibly proud of him, uh, we cannot wait uh, to see what uh, he will bring us uh, as your leader. And, continue to be the leader that he's always been for the city of New Orleans. So Fred, God bless you. Uh, I'm presenting this key to the city uh, for you on behalf of the people of the city.